Greetings, WordPressers. Jackson here. In today's show, we are talking about security and how you can use a plugin to secure your WordPress website. And it takes about one minute. So there's a ton of plugins that you can use to secure your website, and it should be pretty high up on the priority list of the things that you need to do when you make your site live. Now, there's a ton of uh, security plugins on the WordPress repo. They all do pretty much the same thing at a basic level. Things like stopping brute force attack and banning IP addresses that are trying to break into your website. The one that I go to more often than not is a plugin that's been around for years called iTheme Security. It used to be called Better WP Security. iThemes, I think, picked it up a couple of years ago and been working on it ever since. There is a pro version, of course, it's iThemes, but the one I'm talking about is the free repo version, which we're gonna be using to install on our site today. So let's get on with it. Here's the tutorial. iThemes Security in one minute. Okay, hold on to your horses. We are gonna secure this website in less than a minute. Let's go get the plugin name that we need for this mission. It's iTheme Security, a very well-established and well-regarded security plugin. Let's click Add New. Let's paste that name to the keyword search. And it should be the first one that pops up. Let's install that now and activate it. Once it's activated, there'll be a few notices, but you'll see a new admin menu item and that's called security. Just click that and you will get a screen that simply asks you to click a button that says secure the site. It's nearly done. We're going to activate the brute force protection network and that allows other hacked sites to tell them about the people that were trying to hack. You kind of get my drift. And that's it, we're done. So there you have it. Uh, your website secured in less than a minute with the iThemes security plugin. But what's your way of securing your website? Have you got any tips, tricks, or strategies for WordPress security? Get your comments in below. And if you like what you've seen, please do go ahead and subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you later.